Hey guys, we're out here on the water today. I'm with Ryan, a fisheries officer, obviously from the Department of Fisheries here in, in British Columbia. And Ryan, we're just kind of at the entrance of Howe Sound. And can you tell us the significance of where we're at right now? Yeah, yeah, thanks, Brennan. Um, we're actually right at the mouth of where Howe Sound meets the Strait of Georgia. And in this part of BC and the Lower Mainland, we have some really unique features. Uh, we're right now, we're sitting over top of some glass sponge reefs that are marine refuges that were created uh, to protect uh, fish and fish habitat. So Ryan, these glass sponge reefs are kind of unique to this area, aren't they not? Yeah, these reefs are unique to this part of the world. They're only found on the west coast uh, of North America here, and most of them are up along our coast in BC. They're very fragile ecosystems, and for recreational boaters to know where they are is really important because knowing where to anchor your boat, uh, knowing that you can't use uh, any sort of bottom contact fishing gear it is really critical to, to help protect these rare ecosystems. Right, and with that we're talking about obviously crabbing, prawning, uh, fishing salmon with a downrigger, right? Yes. Yeah. Because obviously how Sound is a popular area for all those activities. Yes, definitely. There's a, a lot of boaters in this area being so close to the Lower Mainland and having these rare unique ecosystems that provide a lot of really amazing biodiversity for our ocean here. Um, is really important that everybody knows where they are. All right, so what you've got in your hand here, or what we've got in our hands here, it's a piece of dead sponge wow. from one of these glass sponge reefs that we're over top of right now. It, it's amazing how well, light and delicate this is. Yeah, they're incredibly fragile uh, and almost feel like we've got nothing in our hands. Well, could you imagine, like, I mean, you, you feel it here and it's just, just crumbles to nothing. Like if you were to drop a trap, a prawn trap or a crab trap, or even have a downrigger ball, cruise right through this reef, I mean, or land on top of it, it, it's instantly ruined. Yeah, it doesn't take much and whole reefs can, can have uh, catastrophic damage done to them that could potentially take decades or they could never recover from. Even the, the sediment that is displaced into the water will, will smother these sponges and prevent them from growing. A sponge reef uh, filters about 800 times its volume in water each hour. Wow. So just the known sponge reefs that we have in this part of BC filter about 1% of all the water in the Strait of Georgia. Um, so, so they can day, be a, yeah. attributed to a healthy ecosystem essentially. Definitely, right? definitely, yeah. So Ryan, if I was to come on the water, spend a day in Howe Sound or the Strait of Georgia, you know, boating, but especially angling or crabbing or prawning, What's the best way to get informed about where these sponge reefs are located? That's a good question. If you search up DFO uh, glass sponge reefs, how sound, uh, it'll take you to a web page that has all the different closures, all the different sponge reefs, um, including maps and, and shape files that you can use to upload into your nav system to help you learn where all these different protection zones are. Okay, yeah, that's great. And if I'm on the water and I see somebody, you know, uh, committing a violation, what should that person do? We have a 24 seven uh, observe, record and report hotline that you can call and you can provide your observations. That information then will be immediately sent to fishery officers that are patrolling in that area and, and they'll deal with any violations. Um, these ecosystems are, are very rare and very important to biodiversity in this part of House Sound. So it's a big priority for officers to enforce those rules and make sure people aren't fishing in these, in these areas that we're trying to protect. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, an extremely sensitive ecological part of the West Coast. I mean, you talked about how, uh, how vital these sponge reefs are to filtering the water, the, just a healthy ecosystem. So, you know, before you go on the water, it's your job to know the rules and regulations and where these sponge reefs are. Because if we don't take care of this resource, you know, there might be a time where the ability to come out and enjoy what we have here, such as crabbing, fishing and prawning, might be taken away from us. So it's something that everybody has to understand, the importance of it, and, and it's our duty to, uh, to go out and, and protect these sponge reefs. Yes, I couldn't agree more, yeah. It's ev everyone's responsibility, and if we all do our part, these uh, amazing ecosystems can be around for future generations. And our, our kids and our grandkids can enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yeah.